Greek Orthodox Church of the Holy Spirit at 835 South Avenue in Rochester, New York. And I'd like to take a moment to speak with you. You know, in the Orthodox Church, we're beginning to get ready for the fast of Great and Holy Lent in a few short weeks. And of course, when we all think about fasting, the first thing that comes to mind is food. All the food we're not going to be eating, the food we wish we were eating, and all the food that we're looking forward to enjoying when the fast ends at Great and Holy Pascha. But what if I were to tell you that fasting actually has little to nothing to do with food? That food, at best, only has a peripheral relationship to fasting. You see, the true nature of fasting, my brothers and sisters, is practicing not getting your way, not having things on your terms, not feeding your appetites. And so one of the many ways we practice this is with food, by doing without things we would like to remind us to be a little more selfless, putting aside our own appetites to remind us to put something besides our desires first. It's also the reason that many of our fasting rules don't make a lot of logical sense. They're designed do not make sense. They're designed not to be your way. They're designed not to be my way. Because the minute that we get our way, it stops being fasting no matter what is on your plate. And so since fasting has to do with not feeding our appetites and desires for a higher cause, we fast with our tongue when we control what we say about others, when we avoid gossip and slander and malicious speech. We fast with our ears when we avoid those kind of conversations and don't take part in them. We fast with our eyes when we control what we look at a little bit more often and what we fill our field of vision with. One of my most favorite ways of fasting is with the hands. Where instead of wasting our time with things that really serve no purpose. We spend more of our time in service to others, more of our time devoted to our families, doing things for them, taking care of them, taking care of things in our community, and most of all, in service to those most at need, busying our hands with necessary work instead of things that only benefit me or that really serve no purpose at all. This Lenten season, my brothers and sisters, the fasting that you're doing has nothing to do with what you're filling your belly with, but it has everything to do with putting your own interests aside for the interests of others, something greater than yourself, and practicing the selflessness that the gospel points us towards. This is the true diet of Lent. Where St. John Chrysostom says, what good is it if you avoid eating meat only to devour your brother with slander? May God give you strength and guidance in your Lenten struggle. Bless you and keep you always. Amen. Seven.